Hello, Fee Jameson Folland, and I am beaming in from one of the more beautiful places in the world. <laughs> and you hear me say that often um, because just so many of them pop for me. Let's see what you think. So let's just do a little roundabouty so you can have a little look over my shoulder. I wonder if any of you know this place. Some of you absolutely will. Look at those mountains, the sky, the trees. Oh, all the way around. Let's just do it all the way around for you. Okay. Wow. Well, we're in. We're up in the hills, up around, um, actually not that far away from Park City, Cottonwood. But this little area here is Brighton. And quite um, curiously, that's where I was born in Britain. Here, this is the Brighton in um, the Brighton in Salt Lake City. Well, in Utah. How cool is that? So today we're talking about ancient tapping into ancient wisdom. So what if there's a way to have to be able to live with more energy and more umpska for life, and have less energy going into dealing with the ups and the downs? Well, a lot of that I I've realised over the years is about letting go, is about handing it over. You know, whether you might believe in God, whether it's the universe, your higher power, whatever it may be, it's a case of handing it over. And one of um, the ancient philosophies that talks about this is something called the Tao, which was like BCE, like um, many, many years, <laughs> many years before, you know, so, so many years ago. It's even this, this new classification that I came across called BCE. It's new to me. And... It's this philosophy of rather than going way off in one direction, of everything's great, and then going off in the other direction, of everything's terrible, it's just being more comfortable with the, the ease and the flow of just being steady. And since coming across that philosophy and combining it with letting it, letting it go and handing it over, so I'm not attempting to handle everything, it has been allowing me to experience more grace and more elegance in terms of experiencing life and the journey. And this is a great example of this walk here today, uh, starting out with a bit of a pace and then just deciding to um, ease off. Chris and I were out here on this walk and, and um, take a slightly easier pace and, and notice more of the beauty around us. So I'd love to hear from you if that's something that you've come across, if it's something that you've had an experience with, or if it resonates for you, if it's a first, or if it's something you've heard a, a, before and you're hearing again. Anyway, fabulous to connect and looking forward to seeing you on this week's Alive with Fee. Ciao for now.